As we grow from children to adults, society expects us to dress like an adult. And that includes wearing a tie. Now, today we're going to cover a couple ways that you can tie a tie. And uh, it gets pretty intricate, so make sure you pay attention. This first knot is just a Windsor knot, one of the most classic of all tie knots. And what you do is you make sure that small end is a couple inches above your belly button because you're going to need a lot of room on the fat end. You take it, fold it over like this, come up with the fat end, and then you're going to pull down and go around like so. sure to get this how you need it and then from here you wrap it around front push it up through and down through that little hoop that you just made now this tie is a little short so it comes a little bit of slack but Pull it, get it nice and tight, and there you go. Make some adjustments if need be. This next knot is the Prince Albert knot, and uh, there's no actual evidence that Queen Elizabeth's husband, Prince Albert, um, actually wore this knot, but it's very simple and it's a nice regal charismatic tie. Now same as the other one, you're gonna want the short end a little bit above your belly button because we're gonna mainly be working with the wide. It's very simple. You just do the basic cross and then bring the fat end back and around and then you just do that again. through both of these hoops which you have created. And this is gonna give it a nice, long, sleek look to the knot to give it, make it look more elegant, so to speak. Tighten that up. And that is the Prince Albert. Make some adjustments if needed. And this is supposed to be hanging down just a little bit. So now that we've covered more of the, to the more basic knots, we're gonna get a little bit adventurous here. We're gonna try this knot called the Merle knot. And it's opposite. You're gonna have the fat end on your left side and the skinny end on your right and have the skinny end a lot longer. Start with the basic crossover. And then you go up through here. And to the left. And then you go around the back. Up through here. Like so. front back up through here and then you're going to take the skinny end and put it through this little loop and tighten it as you go and as you can see this is uh, quite unorthodox but it, believe it or not it's actually quite a nice Thai style. Now 
this next one's really difficult and it has a lot of steps to it. And it also requires a lot of tie. So we're gonna need to shrink it to make it a baby tie so I can show you guys. Um, I believe the technical term for it is the Eldridge knot, but I call it the, uh, the stunner knot or the overcompensation knot, you know. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, now we start with the basic crossover. You go behind, up and through. Pull to the left, like so. And then you're gonna go do that again. Like that. Except this time you're gonna go through the second loop that you just created. Make sure that it's where you want it because after this part, it will be very difficult to adjust. And then it's like that, okay. I can't really see it. I hope that looks all right. All right, now you take it and you fold it around uh, the part of your tie that's already around your neck. straight down then you're gonna go up over the knot back through your neck hole like so and then you take this the live end and you put it through this knot and you pull it and you tuck it up underneath your collar. Now this one might not look very good because I didn't have a mirror and um, it's very difficult to do without a mirror but with a little bit of practice you can get it and it looks exceptional. All right, I think that's it. That should be it. Yeah see this was a little off here but as you can see, I didn't tighten this one enough, and it's supposed to be, this is supposed to be up here, but I didn't tighten it right. There we go, see? Just a little bit of movie magic and a mirror, and you too can overcompensate with your tie knot. Pretty cool little knot, very difficult to do.